Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel! The second title update has released and I hope you are all having fun with the new content. The newly added armor pieces are very valuable to craft some awesome bow sets, even on a budget without any rare talismans or curio augments. I want to share one specific set I created with you guys. It has a very high damage output while maintaining most comfort skills for bows. All you need is a talisman with weakness exploit level 2 and a level 2 slot or similar. As always, I will tell you at the end of the video what skills to look out for if you decide to augment the set with Curio Crafting. The set has two variations, one for bows with none or low decoration slots and one for bows which can fit at least a level 3 decoration. The second one will be slightly more powerful, of course. For the low slot bows, I used the following armor pieces. The new flaming Espanas helmet and chest, the silver Rathalos arms, the scorned Magnamalo waist and the seething Betelgeuse legs. Combined, we get the following skills. Attack boost level 4, element attack level 1 to 5, Weakness Exploit level 3, Tamina Surge level 3, Tamina Thief level 3, Shot Type Up level 3, Critical Boost level 2, Marathon Runner level 2, Constitution level 2, Reload Speed level 2, Critical Element, Spare Shot level 1, Bow Charge Plus, Evade Extender, Mail of Hellfire, Coalescence, Charge Master, Blade Scale Hone, Element Exploit, Burst and Guts. Here is a list with the decorations you have to craft. Fill all empty slots with the respective elemental jewels. It's completely fine to have this skill on a lower level, since it contributes the least to your overall damage. Compared to the budget sets from the previous title update, we get Attack Boost level 4, which is a huge raw damage increase. Chain Crit, which got renamed to Burst, also got a decoration now, so we are able to put it in without augments. The set has the maximum amount of stamina reduction if you eat for Dango Fighter level 4, that means constitution level 2 is enough to reach the cap of 50%. Marathon Runner also reduces how fast you lose your stamina. Guts gives you a free moxie, which is kinda mandatory for ranged users on a casual hunt due to all the one hits. If you want to have way more detailed and in-depth explanation on all the bow skills, mechanics and everything bow related for beginnings, please consider checking out my previous bow build tutorials. You also find the best meta bows for every element and shot type in there, because they haven't changed since then. Now let's get to the interesting part. If your bow has a level 3 decoration or better, I got a slightly different set for you with the following parts. The Silver Rathalos Helmet, the Flaming Espinous Chest, the Silver Rathalos Arms, the Violet Mizutsune Waist, and the Seething Basil Goose Legs. Here are the decorations you need for this variant. We get the same skills, but we trade in Mail of Hellfire for Agitator level 3, Adrenaline Rush level 1, and Embolden. We also get one more level of Critical Element and Windproof level 3 as a nice byproduct. Embolden is a new skill from Violet Mizutsune. It increases the likelihood of a monster becoming enraged when it targets you, but you also gain more defense and iframes while targeted. It has a great synergy with Agitator and increases its uptime on quests, which leads to more DPS. Agitator level 3 gives us 12 attack and 7% affinity. The increased evade window also helps you to proc Adrenaline Rush for 10 raw attack and blade scale home. Combined, all those skills outdamage the 15 attack damage buff from Hail of Hellfire, and you also don't lose any defense from it. Sadly, only a handful meta bows have a level 3 decoration slot or better. Those are the Kazu bow, the Raytheon bow, the Lutheroth's bow, and the Daimyo Hermitar bow. On the Hermitar's bow, you are also able to fit in Critical Boost level 3 for even more damage, since it has a very high amount of slots. This set can of course be upgraded with Curio Augmentation. You can easily fit even more skills into this set. I'll talk shortly about which upgrades you should look out for and which ones are worth to keep. The best upgrades are usually slot upgrades, but since the armor pieces have a decent amount of slots already, I think it's not the best upgrade anymore. 
you are usually better off if you find an augment to replace decoration for. The new empty slots can be used for anything you want. More level into attack or charge master is probably your biggest additional damage increase. All of those skills are of course also good augmentations if you find them directly on your armor. This video was shorter than my previous set showcases, since not much has changed besides the armor pieces. Once again, if you are new to bows and want to know more about the weapon, please check out my previous videos. I cover everything bow related in there, even if the sets are outdated by now. As always, please let me know your feedback and thoughts down in the comments and don't feel shy to ask if you got any questions. I happily answer all of them. I hope I see you guys in my next videos. And until then, bye!